All right, you guys, we have a brand new season eight update in Shinobi Striker. Guys, today they have finally dropped a brand new Shinobi Striker developers letter. We're about to read everything today, man. Guys, we're getting a lot of content for a lot of games, man. Shinobi Striker, JJK, Storm Connections. Listen, man, I hope you guys do check out the other videos I'll post later today. But make sure you guys do watch this full video until the end. This They're probably talking about a lot of stuff that will be coming to Shinobi Striker. We're going over everything in today's video. So with that being said, make sure you guys do like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you guys enjoy and if you are new i would highly appreciate it we are daily uploading every single day again so make sure i have notification bell turned on again but yeah man let's not waste any more time let's talk about this new season 8 letter man so as you guys can see it's a shinobi striker developers letter light edition is here what is naruto the boruto shinobi striker we all know what this is come on now like i don't get why they do this every time so here's the content that is um oh future master characters i right, they got introduction ss plus items uh future master characters and in closing I, I got a little carried away though. i'm sorry i got a little carried away this you know let's see who they got for us man introduction greeting to all you ninja out there this is the naruto the boruto shinobi striker development team we are so grateful to everyone who has been playing shinobi striker um have you been enjoying your battles in the brand okay what are they talking about the development team has been listening to what ninja around the world have been saying and we've been hearing a lot of positive feedback about how cool the additions are and how much fun people are having yeah they're definitely hearing us complain about the core mcclage man but uh yeah which has given us Sorry about that. It's given us a huge morale boost. However, we also seen a lot of comments expressing concern about the uncertain future of SS Plus items and special mass and use of training. A lot of these comments, we decided to whip up this developer letter late in order to share some information about the upcoming SS Plus items and to give you all a sneak peek at the Shinobi items we've been working on. So, let's start off with the SS Plus item, man. We'll start off by introducing the SS items that will be included in the next patch. Basically, tomorrow, man. The first SS Plus item we have to show you is a ranged type weapon weapon infernal swords flame control this ninja blade is styled after sasuke uchiha the shinobi known as the supporting shadow and his skills we talk about a bit we talked about it a bit in the previous developer's letter but we'll go into more detail this time so yeah man you guys have been asking for the sasuke weapon is here and it'll be dropping tomorrow i already know they're about to say it's going to drop tomorrow it's sasuke's birthday like yesterday so yeah let's look at some gameplay if you guys have not seen my video on it um let's mute it real quick we can't go full screen i don't know why but uh, yeah, it basically has like Kusanagi combos mixed with Inferno style. Really fire weapon, man. This thing is super good. You know, you got the little one hit stun. Boom, Susano, uh rib cage attacks. Really fire weapon, man. You got the Inferno control. It does not do burn damage, which is the one thing I wish it did. You also got long range projectiles. So yeah, this weapon's really cool, man. Again, um, the design of the blade utilizes the same purple color as Sasuke Susano and features the Sharingan on its hilt, culminating in a sword. That is dark yet stylish. In terms of abilities, using normal tech with this blade calls for our Susano to slash alongside you, allowing you to unleash high speed sword combos. Plus, by using a strong attack, you'll be able to unleash the power of flame control by transforming black flames and launching them at your foes. So, they're basically just talking about the description of the weapon. These flames pierce through enemies and deal continuous damage upon contact. While this weapon is effective against single opponents, it shows its true worth when taking on a horde of enemies. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for the brawls that break out near scrolls or flags and aim to gain control of the battle by immediately emulating your foes in front of sword flame control is scheduled to be added to the feature lineup after the maintenance in late july man we're i mean we hope you're looking forward to it so yeah like i said man this weapon will be coming out tomorrow so again make sure i have notification bell because i will be doing an update video and i also will be doing a sasuke build with this weapon and i'll probably also do another video on the weapon so if you guys are ready for the content man make sure i do have notification bell turned on and like this video up man again let me sure i like the video so next up to all those ninja who have been love next wait, wait wait next up to all those ninja who there who i can't speak next up to all those ninja out there who love using defense size we kept you waiting long enough the ss plus weapon that's scheduled to arrive after the infernal style flame control is a defense type weapon this new ss plus weapon is themed after a certain legendary shinobi uh -uh, gar and excels at inflicting damage over a large area in addition to the weapons and development that are based around characters we're currently in the process of workshop workshopping weapons with exclusive battle gimmicks that are out of breath a fresh air to the game we'll go into the greater depth about ss plus item info in the next developer letter is scheduled for release toward the end of august so until then we hope you look forward to what we have in store before i keep going i just want to show you guys something before i keep going man i just want to let you guys know that a month ago i dropped a video on new ss plus 
weapon leaks man and i said it was going to be a defense type weapon and it was going to be on my boy gara now shout out to flea boy jetson because he's the one that gave me that information and look bro flea boy strikes again bro we're getting a defense ss plus weapon certain legendary shinobi and excels at inflicting damage over a large area i mean that just yells gara man his sand it just envelops a large area you know he has sand tsunami and stuff like that so his spear is gonna be really good for defense type um yeah um flea boy just flea shout out flea boy man he just be striking bro like he y'all be saying oh you're capping bro come on man flea boy just too good with the information bro he don't be lying his leaks his sources are really good bro they really be you know um not predicting but they really be looking into the future of the game so bro when y'all see those videos that i'll be posting bro it's not cat bro and i just you know just proved it again finally man well actually not finally regarding new characters in season eight in response to the number of comments we received from ninja around the world we like to give a brief explanation regarding the number of characters that will be introduced in season eight including kawaki karma progression we're on schedule to introduce four new characters this season we're currently planning for one release every three months okay so they changed that so it was it used to be every two months now they added a month so i mean that's bad but at the same time like i mean it's kind of good bro i mean it's, it's not good but it's good for me because if i had to post ss and storm and jjk today i would have been crazy so i'm glad they're spacing stuff out but uh yeah man it's bad overall for the game because more dlcs means more jutsus more fun more content for me and you guys so it's good and bad man let me know what you guys do think about that um they increased it by one month so yeah um in addition a total of four special ninjutsu fitting the theme of awaken till beast will be released at a similar pace so we're only getting four tail beast jutsu so what about the bro what about the other tail beast man that's crazy bro that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of crazy bro we better get autumn bro i'm not gonna lie but the next card that will join the battle will be a defense type and we're working hard to develop jutsu where the shinobi known for defending their comrades with genjutsu We'll share more information about this in the next developer letter as well, so sit tight. Defending your comrades with Genjutsu. Who could that be? Let me let me do a little research, bruh. Alright, man. Let's look at Genjutsu users, bruh. Um, defending allies. Um, I'm thinking Kurenai. Kurenai Loki. See, they really would drop Kurenai because they drop Storm Connections Kurenai. Um... Kabuto Yakushi would be fire if we get Sage Mode Kabuto, man. I'm thinking Shisui, but like, what type of Shisui? Like, we already have Shisui, like, normal Shisui, like, I don't know, um, let's see who else. Is there, a, like, a bigger list of Genjutsu users, bruh? Alright, we got Jiraiya, um, I don't think it's gonna be Jiraiya. Sage Mode Jiraiya would be fire, though. Danzo would be cool, but he doesn't defend allies, um... Yeah, I don't think it's Donzo. Gengetsu is somebody who I think it'd be, but I don't think he is worthy of a DLC. But he really fits the description because that Clam Genjutsu is pretty annoying. Obito? I don't think so. I think it's going to be Kurenai, bro. I'm not going to lie to you guys, bro. I'm looking at this list. I think it's going to be Kurenai, bro. And that kind of sucks. Because I like Kurenai, but it, they're just doing the Storm Connections like DLCs. So I don't know if it's actually going to be Kurenai, but it's looking like it's going to be Kurenai. Um... Let's look at this list over here. Let's see some more Genjutsu users. Sakura, no. Kabuto, I really want it to be Sage Mode Kabuto. Kodosuchi, I don't remember using Genjutsu. We need a new Orochimaru low key. Orochimaru be top. Uh, Kur I feel like it's Kurenai, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's gonna be Kurenai. Um, maybe Danzo. I don't think so, though. Tayuyo would be fire, but I don't know if she'd be a DLC. Gengetsu would be fire. And the rest of these people are Uchiha. So. I, I really think it's gonna be current night, bro. I really think it's gonna be current night, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, man. Let me know what you guys do think. Who do y'all think is gonna be the DLC? Please comment down below your predictions. Please. I need, I would love to know because I truly do not know who they're thinking of right now. I truly don't know. So I need y'all help, man. In closing, thank you for reading all the way until the end in this developer's letter. We gave you a glimpse at the upcoming SS Plus items and new characters being added to the game. In season eight, we plan to add even more components to the game. So look forward to the next developer letter when we can. 
when we can talk about them a little more we're going to do our utmost to share more information with you all and keep you up to date as best as we can thank you all so much and let's meet again in the next developer's letter w shinobi striker man w bro w so yeah man that's basically all the new season 8 information that we got we're getting a new ss plus item later today well actually tomorrow we're getting a new ss plus defense uh item in fact before i end this video i actually didn't fully read about the tail beast thing i read it but like yeah so they didn't give a release date for the um special ninjutsu it might drop tomorrow too so yeah um again let me know what you guys do think about all this information down below man shinobi striker been cooking up man again i'll be dropping two more videos later today on storm connections and curse class jujutsu kaisen so i do hope you guys check those videos out man be on the lookout man but yeah triple upload today um with that being said i do hope you guys have a blessed night or day again new update uh shop update ss plus update will happen tomorrow so make sure i be on the lookout for that as well and let me know you guys' thoughts on this developer letter man i really want to know you guys opinions and with that being said i hope you guys have a blessed night or day morning wherever you're at and i will see you guys later for some more uploads on the channel man peace